storm cause I need to be swept away, swept away I'm cornered in the cold where you left me, left again, left again Are you ready?
got your puppet. You ready to go swim, swim? No, not. <laughs> no naps? I know. You didn't want to take a nap today. Huh. No naps? No naps. You're going to have an early bedtime, yes? Yeah. Oh. oh, thank you. It's a finger puppet? Water's going down. Hey everyone, I wanted to get on here before I sign out. Um, today, I just, I don't know, I'm like in a funk. Just feel like I should address what's going on. Like, I just, I'm trying to keep busy and try to be optimistic, but I really don't feel like, I don't know, this social distancing is definitely hard and definitely trying to keep a toddler busy and things planned throughout the day. Uh, um, she has no idea. I think that's like the best. She's like at the age where she doesn't get it, but that's perfectly fine because I don't know how I would be able to explain to her about this, about how we can't go outside and go to the playground, which I was like shocked. We rode our bikes today because we had to get out of the house and give us something to do and get some fresh air in and another way for me to work out with this pregnancy and just keep myself motivated. So it was nice, but there were still some people at the park, so we did not go to the park, try to keep our distance. Oh, hey, by the way, pregnancy hormones breaking out. <laughs> um, I'm just nervous. I, I talked to the doctor for my 20 week anatomy scan and he was definitely on edge and I didn't want to put it in the video, but I just want to address it now. Like I'm not trying to freak everyone out, but it does freak me out. And I know it wasn't like comforting hearing from the doctor how it's gonna get worse in the next month. And by all means, um, if you are pregnant, isolate yourself. Do not be around people because people might be asymptomatic and it might have the virus. And I don't know, he just said in the next month, it's definitely gonna get worse. It was not comforting at all. Um, but what can you expect? It's it's kind of crazy that we leave, live in these times. And I don't know, all we can do is just by help everyone be a good citizen by staying inside, staying safe, find things to keep us busy. Um, if I feel any symptoms, by all means, I'm definitely going to the ER. Doctor recommended it, not even to come into the doctor's office, just to phone them and go straight to the ER. If my water breaks or if my contractions are five minutes apart, uh, it's just, my anxiety is getting to me, definitely. And I'm trying to stay calm, but it's my emotions and it's just, I don't know. I don't know, I I wonder if a few mamas are out there feeling the same, expecting moms. Or let me know how you guys are dealing with all this chaos, because every time I feel like I turn on the news, it's something worse that goes on. But uh, let me know your thoughts and your feelings as well. And I hope you guys all stay safe and sound and find ways to keep yourself busy or keep your kids busy or um, send me comments down below. Um, any toddler activities, I'm open. Um, I would love to 
incorporate more activities to keep Sky busy and keep myself busy from thinking about this. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.